Pearl Davis has racked up a legion of online followers and plenty of breathless newspaper coverage by sharing her incendiary views on modern feminism. The New York Post called her the female Andrew Tate. So she tapped into genuine female pushback to the excesses of wokery, or is she just an attention seeker? We'll find out in a moment. But first, let's take a look at the clip that sent her viral. A lot of people think I'm insane because I don't think women should vote. Everybody thinks I'm crazy for this opinion. If anything, this is probably my most extreme opinion. 90% of women have been on birth control. One out of three women has had an abortion. One out of three women has an STD. Uh, average body count is over five, so that your average wife has slept with over five people. 95% of women are not virgins on their wedding days. So I understand the complaint. OK, well, Paul join, uh, joins me now alongside political journalist Ava Santini, who was nodding furiously along there to everything she heard. <laughs> uh, right, Paul, you've become... we would be called the female Andrew Tate. How do you plead? Well, I, I take it as a compliment. You know, I'm a fan of Andrew Tate. Of everything he says? Um, it depends what we're talking about. But overall, I think he's got a good message. I think he's good for young men. OK, look, you're talking about women predominantly, uh, which is why you've got this big following. And your view is that modern feminism is deeply flawed. I would argue a lot of your proposals, like taking the vote away from women, <laughs> are deeply regressive. Mm -hmm. Why would you want to remove, just from yourself, the right to vote? Well, um, what happened was I, I had the same view, right? Um, back when I started, I was like, why? I found out that only 5% of women wanted the right to vote. And I couldn't figure out, like, why would women not... No, it's true. It's well, true. At, you the look it up. at the time. At the time. Because they've been conditioned by men to think that they shouldn't have a vote. I, I mean, that's what they say. But, you know, I started reading their writings, right? And what I found out was that the reason a lot of women advocated for it was because they believed it was the beginning of the breakdown of the family. You know, before you became one in marriage, 85% of people were married. And, you know, I, I hate to say it, but they were right. What has happened 100 years later? Well, what's that going to do with them having the vote? Well, it also goes back to responsibility. Um, again, men are 80 to 90% of the military. They run all of the infrastructures that make society run. So I just think if we want an equal say in society, then be equal. Do 50% of the hard jobs. Be 50% of the military. In the US, um, they're fined $250,000 if they are not, they don't join um, selective service, which is essentially the draft. Okay, but on, on so, specifically on the mm -hmm. vote, what would having the right to vote have to do with family cohesion, for example? Well, because again, before you weren't trying to divide a family. It was one family unit. You had one vote for the family. I mean, I, I don't think it's good for a family to have two votes. Ava, your mouth seems to have dropped no, about do you know three what it's feet. Like, I know, I know. No, it's just sort of a bit galaxy brain. I feel like, you know, the, the, the stats that you're putting down are perhaps correct in some universe. Which, which stats? They just kind of don't really add up. I mean, just, just to take you back to the mm -hmm. to, to the women's writings that you've allegedly read. I mean, at allegedly? the time... Allegedly? Well, what do you mean, that, allegedly? At the time that you're talking about, mm -hmm. you know, women weren't really allowed to write. They weren't allowed to go to school. Yes, they were. Write. Yes, they so were. That, that's well, incorrect. The first, okay, female, well, property, the first female property owner was in the 1600s. The idea that women couldn't work and couldn't... I'm so sorry, that's, but that first be female, inherited no, the first, No, no, the first, female, <laughs> the first female millionaire was in the uh, late 1800s. And was that so, so it, no, it wasn't. It was self-made. She was. No, yes, it was. was. Self-made. Yes, it and was. She never she inherited was, yes, land. Yes, it, she did not inherit it. What law permitted that? What? What law permitted that? Well, there was no law. I mean, there's always been okay, women anyway. that were influential let, in let's history. Let's get on to let's get on to the vote. So what I don't understand is, you know, a part of your message. I've just, you know, I've researched you today. I, and mm, hang on a minute. Okay. You know, your your big push is that you care about men and you don't think that men are getting enough of a say. But well, I care about Hang on, I haven't made the point yet. Um, because of feminism. OK, what I wonder is when you start making calls out like repeal the 19th, women shouldn't be allowed to vote. Mm -hmm. How is that helping young men? Because these young men have women in their lives. They have mothers, they have sisters, they have teachers and they turn around. They don't know how to act around women because you're giving them license to be misogynistic. I, I wouldn't call it misogynistic. I say be equal. So, again, I men do all of that. Well, saying. then, OK, I'd love for the feminists. Please apply for the oil rigs. Please go do the hard jobs in society. What They're open. They're hot. Hiring because I don't equate for I, I don't think men or women are equal until we do the right. equal work. So no no listen listen go go apply to be on the oil rigs go do go be a plumber go be electrician go be on the front lines of the military and then we should have equal rights. But until feminists are willing to do that, 
I don't believe we should have the freedom without the responsibility. Okay, well, I don't think that I'm physically built for that. You might be, but I'm absolutely that, that's not. A you, no, but you, wow. you said you were wow. a volleyball. Wow. You said you were a volleyball player, and so you've got more strength than I do. I don't think. But that I don't I have can more do strength. I don't have more strength than the average man. I'm going to take your right away. I don't have. I don't have more strength than the average man. But my. Again, it goes back to go be a plumber. You want to be equal, go be you equal. Also, you, also, you also, but you don't want, you want divorce to be made illegal. Yes. Why? Yes, because I don't think what we have today is really marriage. What is marriage? It's for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. That's what marriage is supposed to be. But feminists have ruined marriage for the people that actually believe in marriage. How? When there is a 50% divorce rate, and the average marriage is Why is that all down to years. the women, though? I, I, I didn't say that it was all down to the women. So why well, feminists what, what, women? I, you're, You asked why I want divorce to be banned. Yeah. Can, you, can I finish yeah. that first? So I'm saying, you know, the people that believe in divorce, go be in long-term relationships. Leave marriage for the people that actually believe in, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. But doesn't the sanctity of marriage also rely on the woman being a virgin? So you wouldn't be able to get married. I, what do you what do you mean? Well, you've spoken quite openly There's... about how you're not a virgin. And so if you want to preserve that sanctity of marriage, I then, think, you know, you know I, and I, wish, I just think that you're upholding standards that you don't actually I, I, live I, by. I, you know, and that's a fair that's a fair complaint. I wish I was. But, you know, we can't go back. I don't know what you want me to say. Yeah, but I just don't think it's 80... fair that you get to be here and you get to be paid for your views and you're uh -huh. telling other women that they shouldn't be allowed to. I, I think they I, should what is, what is Hang on, hang on, hang on. OK, I, let me, the, if, I, if I may, <laughs> at some stage, jump in. Um, isn't the whole point of being a feminist, though, that women are entitled to have their own views? Absolutely. And so I... she's perfectly entitled to her views. Yeah, but you can't... You might not like but them. But I'm here to challenge Isn't she exercising her right as a... Are you a feminist? No, I am not. Really? <laughs> no, you know, I wouldn't. Don't go that far. You don't want to be a feminist? <laughs> no, because I think if feminists really believed in equality, but you guys don't, I would love for you, there is an oil rig hiring. <laughs> there is an engineer. I would actually firm love hiring. to see Ava Santino I, on no, oil rig. No, seriously, oh, seriously. Uh, there is a, a building being built next to my building. Go do it, feminists. But, Go but, do it. And me, but, I'm saying the same job that I'm get, doing right when now. When you find the man you want to get married to, are you saying you will literally, you will be with that man whatever happens the rest of your life. Yes, for, for the vows that we're supposed to live but How by. do you know you can keep them? I, I mean, look it, I think it's a choice. And that's the thing, like women are so willing to leave marriages because they're not happy. This is not about happiness. The most important thing is the children. And the problem is we have a modern society where it's me, 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 my feelings, leave when I feel like it, instead of doing what's best for the kids. Ava, I gotta say, it's a little bit listening to Andrew Tate, where some of it I really don't agree with. I don't agree with the vote stuff. When I hear things like that, I think there'll be a lot of people, especially older generation women, perhaps, who think, you know what, she's got a point. Well, I mean, I believe in agency. So I think that if a woman is going to look after her children in divorce, that's absolutely fine. I also believe in your right to speak your mind about it. What I don't understand... I'd, I'd like to what say, I don't even understand. before the 1920s, you know I mean? women could speak openly. This idea that, like, women couldn't talk the last 500 years. There have been women throughout history... I know, but the American state education that been, system has failed been, has, before. Has and it's been, failing has now. Been, there have been women throughout history that have read, written, and been very influential in society. Okay. So this idea like women could never do it, do you don't know what I, what it. I don't understand though, is when it gets spiteful, okay? Because you put down a few arguments that I think are perfectly, like, you know, they're kind of evangelical and they're Christian, but those are your right to say it. What I don't understand is when it kind of seeps into this sort of, you call women fat, you say that they shouldn't have abortions. Are they fat? You say that are they, they have fat? STDs. <laughs> you know, I, I mean, <laughs> the question is, are they fat? Yes I, or no? I, I the average the American judgment. woman is 170 pounds. That's, uh, pounds. That's objectively overwhelming. I mean, let's be honest. We <laughs> know. We now celebrate morbid obesity but, as, as some kind of body positive thing, and it is complete nonsense. So, actually, on that point again, there's a bit of truth in and this that. And this is the problem. This is the problem. How have we come to celebrate morbid obesity as body positive? Well, it's watched, nonsense. We're not talking about morbid obesity. I was actually watching your podcast earlier, and you sp you spoke to someone who was, I, I would say, probably a size twelve, and you called her it, fat, a beast, and a divorcee. She was fat, obese, and a divorcee. She wasn't. I mean, like, I don't know what to say. This is the thing, women. We don't want to live in reality. We don't want to say things that are true. Was she fat? Yes. Was she a divorcee? Yes. These things are just objective. Facts. Okay, I'm going to have to objectively... And, and she insulted me first. They always... 